star Luke Bryan is blowing up, hitting the stratosphere. But don't think he's forgotten his roots. There's more than meets the eye to this sweet-talking country boy. And tonight, he's taking us on an unofficial tour of his favorite things. ABC's Gloria Riviera is out on the town. That's what I'm talking about. I've got that real good, feel good stuff. From the tip of his boots to the back of his truck. Yeah, truck. Luke Bryan is shaking his booty to the top of the country charts with hits like That's My Kind of Night. Yeah, that's my kind of night. Let me see it. Wait, now. What, well, you got it. Oh, you? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Nashville's reigning golden boy, he is having one hell of a good time. Yeah, that's my kind of night. And tonight is definitely his kind of night. What's up, Nightline? It's Luke here, and uh, welcome to the That's My Kind of Night tour. Luke has 11 number one hits. Can you please talk for a picture? His latest album, Crash My Party, has catapulted him into an elite Thanks, club. Guys. Country music stars able to sell out stadiums. Here we are at Soldierville. We have an all access pass, crashing his tour in Chicago. It's more of a blues town, isn't it? Not tonight. <laughs> and hitching a ride in his Bronco down on the farm. This is my Bronco. It's just, that's how I roll. Luke Bryan drives me around in his car. You know. Yeah. We thank you all for everything you're doing. His it's... team is turning this cow field near Gainesville, Florida, into a one-night concert venue. So they're great. already lining up. Look at this. Little Coming do they in, know. Little do they know who's hey, in this car. Else's... Lined up. Lined up on a two-lane. Yep. Sounds like a country song. Growing up in a small town, it was tough for Luke to see a show. So now, along with big city stops, he's taking his tour to the farm. Out here more than ever, you know, people come up to us and it's like, this is our first concert. We're five minutes away from yeah. your uh, back porch. But, uh, Actually, I think somebody's back porch looks at the stage. They're, <laughs> they're setting up out there. Hey, they're, they're probably uh, frying us some chicken and, and yeah. making, them, making them some sweet tea. Yeah. Are you a little nervous? I'm a little nervous. That's good. Can you tell I'm a little nervous? He tells us he often unwinds on tour bow hunting. So you hold the arrow. Okay. And that's our poor target over there. Yep, the little okay. deer target over there. And offers to give me a lesson. Ladies, it's a tough job. Now, it's ready to rock. Okay. Whoa, bullseye. Are you okay, ready? Okay, I'm ready, but okay, I'm ready, I'm ready, ready. And not about to let this superstar show me up. Nice. <laughs> That's a better shot than me. <laughs> what can I say? You know, I had a good teacher. <laughs> Has there been a moment where you thought, whoa, this is this is happening and it's happening now? Gosh, I mean, 10 times a day, definitely. <laughs> I'm walking in downtown New York City and see my face on top of a, of a New York City cab. Did you take a selfie? I did. <laughs> but Luke nearly gave up on chasing his dreams in Nashville. I love reading about your dad saying, you don't go, I'm gonna fire you. Right. When you look back, are there any moments that you really pinpoint as a time that you thought, maybe I should head back? Well, like I knew that I'd never tuck my tail and run. You know, the toughest thing was loading up the car and moving. We saw two sides to Luke. He's a family man, a puppy dog around his wife and their two little boys. We go on vlogging. But we manage it well. I mean, I'll, I'll fly out for a show and then fly home and then bring the kids out for a couple of shows and then head home. And so it's, we make it work. Holding a beer in my hand. But he's also the fraternity rush chair of country music, singing about chasing girls and partying hard. His first hit in 2007, All My Friends Say, became a frat boy anthem. What all my friends say. A title that makes Luke bristle, like that four letter word in his industry, bro country. The bro country thing, it really aggravates me. Bro country implies it's songs that are as shallow as a beer glass and objectify women. Oh, I've hit a nerve. For, I think it's a derogatory term. Don't judge me on one song, you know, judge me on a body, on a career. If that's the biggest controversy in Luke Bryan's life, he may just be able to stay here, in that sweet spot where fame is fun, even manageable, if he can stay grounded. I'll do a couple songs and uh, it's a good warm up and good thing for the fans, a little intimate. On the cusp of mainstream pop star status, one question for Luke will be how true he stays to his country roots. Baby, you can crash my party anytime. For the
the high he's on now, there have been devastating lows. I know you guys have lost somebody that you used to drink a beer with, and I want you to think about them and have a sip of your beer. So I'm gonna say. Luke was the youngest of three siblings. He lost his beloved big brother in a car crash, and then his big sister, too, who died unexpectedly at home. Losing my brother and my sister, um, um, yeah, that, that took such a negative emotional toll on me and my family and my friends. And when good things happen to me through music, it helps my whole family. We can kind of go, well, you know, there, good things do happen too. And anytime I'm in a, a full arena, I mean, I just can't help but think that, you know, God, I know my brother and sister would be coming to a lot of these shows. Drink a One thing he says his success has taught him is that true joy is possible after tragedy. But that doesn't mean he'll be doing this forever, or so he says. Ten years from now, will I be on stage dancing and... No, I won't be. Well, be careful. Remember what Mick Jagger said. He yeah. wouldn't be doing it at 60. Luke Bryan, you may be out there shaking. Well, <laughs> I, I, I would certainly say it'll be it'll be uh, much more tame. Are you ready? You feel good? Oh my God. Finally, Luke takes us straight to the stage. Okay, one more booty shake for Nightline. Can oh, I get one more? Shake. Oh, okay, there it is. finally, we really yeah. got it. <laughs> Let me check, let me check. No, you're good, you're good. And just like that, we say goodbye to this peanut farmer turned superstar as 17,000 fans scream hello. Kiss tomorrow, goodbye. For Nightline, I'm Gloria Riviera in Gainesville, Florida.